uh, quality provision system, this is a traffic control system, and we've got gas pipelines as well. So you can see that a lot of these areas, there is numerous utilities, and this is the most challenging part of the job. Now, basically, our duty will be that uh, we'll all be working as a big team to organize these things with uh, the local authorities before that we start physical works, any of those activities, we keep the local authorities fully really informed and get their necessary concurrence as well. And there will be notices through the media plus uh, from the authorities themselves that about any major shutdowns, especially for joining of uh, when you do relocation of utilities, you need to avoid joining rules. So they need to be for safety purposes, they need to have shutdowns. Now safety and health and environmental program. I think this is one of the major areas of uh, where MRT Co and PDP there's very stringent uh, requirements on this. And uh, it's our duty as a contractor to comply with all these things. Now that indicates the overall alignment for the MRT. But I think they will also highlight the, okay, this is a section that is uh, called package B3. That is the one for the front sunway mm. to section 70. So you see the blinking ones, those are the ones uh, that's affected. So this is going to the you know, major utility arena, shopping malls, and residential area. So it's a very challenging job, for sure. Now, this is an animation of how the sequence of work will happen for the wired up section of the works. sections you try and minimize and speed up the works as well, minimize any impact of brochures and all that.
Then we got a wide up the segmental box, how they lift out from the various portions to launch this. And these are again precast sections. So you find minimize and speed up also basically, that's the idea. And you get better quality of works as well, because it's manufactured in a factory. These are the ones to support the elevated stations. So those are again precast. So if you look at that, uh, the architectural designs of these things, uh, the aesthetics are pretty good compared to a lot of other countries. You see that. And that's when the, finally the train station is on completion, it looks something similar to this, this many meter portion. which are very long sections because you do not want the uh, supports within the traffic portion of the highways. So you've got all these other uh, easy to girders. So like this particular one, there's 85 meter span. So it's really long sections. And these are the other challenging areas of uh, construction. Then uh, near the front, that's when you've got the 275 KB and 1.2 KB transmission line, which needs to be because of high clearances. So that has to be raised up. So that's the other challenging one. Uh, and for safety reasons, we would like to raise it up much higher than current positions. And then just show some of the, how we protect some of the utilities and road widenings that has, need to be done in order to get the construction in place and not to impact too much the traffic, so you can see the traffic flow will be maintained. Now this is the, the other station, is the, that's the curve station. There's one near Surian Tower, that's called the curve station. Again, at that area that you will see that it's very close to the underpass, so there will be some relocation works and road widening to be done at the Surian underpass. And this is Another challenging area of the battery. And then this is in front of one Tama, how the grouping of the wide arc that is doing and the station as well. So you can see that that's over the just now the sprint area. So you we are supposed to show you how this will look in future. I mean, these are not there yet. <laughs> That's what we've got to deliver. <laughs> and uh, then at Pingil Zaba, because that's where the, uh, the residential area is. So you'll notice that uh, you try and maintain the traffic flow as well as uh, uh, try and do it without uh, <coughs> big bushes totally. So the designs will try and accommodate some of these things that are required. Yeah, so we don't come in from, uh, all construction work will come in from the LDP side rather than on the Pini side. So that we, we do not uh, disturb the local prices. So everything will come in from the LDP side, basically. And this is again, at, uh, this is where we need to do the road widening, so you notice that was that uh, portion of the thing to be roughly widened in order to maintain traffic as well. It's a lot of 
you see all the supports, those are the indicated position of the all positions for the wire up, the red portion. Yeah. And this is the game, how we are managing the each relocation for those widening at the shoulders to create the closing space as well as behavior by different. And this is towards the spread highway. Part of the supports are on the slopes. This is how the segmental uh, box girders will be launched. Try and minimize anything from the ground, but it's what we are later. Thank you very much.
because we are not uh, obliged to basically uh, compensate, because we are not, we're not acquiring their property yet, and, and because we took into account them saying, I mean this is their opinion, that the area was now no longer livable, mm -hmm. so we decided to, to explore. Mm -hmm. On a voluntary basis, we decided to explore what could we do for them. And one of the options that we basically arrived at was this possibility, yeah, the possibility of undertaking a buyout program for the 25 houses that we thought that were, you know, were not happy and said that they were no, that those houses were no longer livable. Uh, but when we said this, we were very clear that it was a voluntary initiative, not an of the legal obligation or technical obligation on our part. So what we had to do was we, we compiled you know, a proposal with the cooperation of the residents. We compiled a proposal and we went to the government because the Ministry of Finance had put up a committee called the Special Compensations Committee to basically hear odd situations where we need to consider compensation. But because this was a voluntary initiative and you know, the government felt, the committee felt, because the committee is represented by quite a few government, relevant government departments.